Hello and welcome back and today we're going to be looking at QNAP's mobile applications all over again. We did it just over a year ago now and there has been innovations on those apps. I'm going to be reviewing some of the core apps that a number of you guys use every day over the course of the next few videos and then I'm going to make my way over to a few of the other companion apps from the other brands and see how they all compare in 2019. So Today we're going to be looking at Q Manager. Now Q Manager is the application that lets you pretty much handle everything that your QNAP NAS is going to be doing from day to day. Today we're going to be accessing this rack mount NAS here at the top of the list and we're accessing it over a local area network. As you can see I've clicked in, I've already logged in before and remember that all the applications I talk about in my videos are available now for free on iOS and Android. So this is the user interface of the app, and again, the sort of NAS you use will change whatever's appearance um, of what you see here on the screen. And on here we can see lots of information about the folders, their individual storage space, and the amount of space readily available. Now remember, this is more of a maintenance application. This isn't really to interact with your NAS on a file folder level. That is QFinder that we're doing in the next video. But from here, we can also view the applications and client applications that we've got installed. And if we make our way up to the top left here, we can see for a start the IP of our device and a much more detailed overview of this device. And we can find out more information about everything to do with hardware, memory, temperature and more. We can go a little deeper as well by going into individual folders, uh, little tabs there at the top and finding out more information about the CPU, cores and memory being consumed at any given time as well as the amount of memory, memory that's readily available. Moving forward we can find out more information about the storage area we've got on the device and right now thanks to surveillance applications and multimedia that I've been uploading lots of space is all readily being utilized you can see from QVR Pro. This gives us a nice easy view of all the storage on the device and how it's being used. Moving forward, we can look at network applications because this NAS, like many, has multiple LAN connections. And although I'm only using one, we can, of course, access more than that later down the road with things like link aggregation, load balancing and more. Like any computer system, this NAS also has a resource monitor and task manager, which we can use to access the back end of this device and learn more about all the individual processes that we can cut short or expand into to see how much system resource they're using at any given time. And finally, individual connected users will have to be listed here and whether they're active at any given time. Moving forward, we can look at background tasks such as uploads and downloads to the device from here. And privilege settings let us dictate how individual users can interact with the device and to what level. We can even create a brand new user from here on this device without the use of a desktop. So if we call this person sample, we can give them a password. We'll give them the word password. We'll verify that password with the word password. Give them a description, give them an email if we want. And we can say what the, the severity of their access to the device is. So we can give them one of the individual groups. And again, you can create new groups. If you've got individual staff or family members, they can all go in there. Or alternatively, we can just say this person is read only and not have any more tailored access to individual apps, files or folders. And you can completely tailor an individual user's access on the fly thanks to this app at any given time. So we've created our sample user and we can let the QNAP create that. And there you go. It's as simple as that. Now, if we move forward from this, we can go back to the main user interface of our NAS, as we can see here, and carry on with the options. System services, if we've activated any of the utilities on our QNAP, this allows us to dictate and control everything from DLNA to multiple backups and, of course, VPNs at any given time on our QNAP NAS. Once again, from this mobile user interface, which is pretty damn impressive. App Center allows us to not only see all of the installed applications on our NAS, but also install more applications too. And again, I can't stress how interesting this is that we can do all of this from a mobile device. Now, the fact that we can interact with the device via mobile is interesting, but what I've already noticed here, and as you can see from the top right of the screen, in the interest of screen recording, I've disabled internet access to from my phone and this and to this NAS. 
The result is that as it's trying to access all the applications in the QNAP store, there is no internet access as you can see here. So again, take my word for it that if I had the internet um, activated on this, you would see that. But because I don't want notifications on my phone screen, I have disabled that. Next, we can look at system logs to get real-time information about the device. And as you can see in the background here, I've been doing lots of transferring and converting of files. And this has given us real-time information about all the things happening in the background on this device, all of them dated and all of which can be gone into in more detail. From system logs, we can look at backup station that allows you to overview and configure live backups within your NAS system. So whether that's NAS to NAS, NAS to a third party server, real time remote replication externally to another server or location, and of course, external drive backup on things like USB. Now, download station has been included within queue manager this means that you can add things to download like torrents stay legal um, nzb uh, podcasts you know all of those different kinds of multifaceted uh, ways to download can all be done here if you want to add a downloaded file click the arrow and you can add files very very easily all at the touch of a button moving back we can go back to that main user interface and from here go to system tools now Given that we've already seen a myriad of controls and tools here, you'll be unsurprised to hear that there aren't that many tools in the system tools area. If you've connected an external drive like a USB, you can dictate things there. And if other people have tried to access your device erroneously, they will appear here so you can block them. And finally, you can check for things like firmware update, locate the NAS in your local area network with a beep, restart and of course shut down. And that's about it, really. The settings really apply to just this app alone. And this whole application is designed to give you a greater control of your NAS remotely using a mobile phone device. And of course, once we're done, we can log out of this device at the click of a single button. It really is that straightforward. In my next video, I'm going to be looking at QFile as well as a number of these QNAP applications here. And of course, moving on to some of the competitor applications to see how they're all faring in 2019. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Do look out for the next video and click like and subscribe. Cheerio.